Today is March 10th, 2023. My name is Charles Suter. Today I'll be, be presenting the topic titled Changing Your Life. My main message is change your beliefs, change your life. My reference source for this presentation is a book by John Maxwell called Thinking for a Change. You are your beliefs. You are trapped in the tightly wound webs of your beliefs. So if you want to make any fundamental changes to your life, you must start by changing your beliefs first. You might presume that you are an independent person who can choose to do whatever he wants, but that presumption is not true. Your beliefs trap and constrain your options. Most of your thoughts come from your beliefs or learn knowledge about how life works. Your thoughts have been conditioned over time based upon repeated life experiences. So if you want to make difficult changes about your life situation that are not supported by your beliefs about what is possible, you're in for disappointment. Resistance from non-supported beliefs is the main reason people fail to change for the better. Proposition 1. If you want to change your life, start by changing your beliefs. Because when you change your beliefs, you change your thinking. When you change your thinking, you change your behaviors. And when you change your behaviors, you have changed your life. The only viable way to change, to reach hard to reach goals, is to ensure you have the right beliefs before you begin. The link between beliefs and change are the following. Thoughts come from beliefs. Emotions come from thoughts, and finally, actions come from emotions. A life change that is not supported by your emotions is just wishful thinking. Nothing lasting will come from wishful thinking. Most good intentions, based upon wishful thinking and not supported beliefs, end in failure. Like so many attempts to diet, stop smoking, or reach challenging goals. Proposition 2. Change comes only when you believe you can succeed. So don't start any goal or quest until you have the right supported beliefs. Supported beliefs generate confidence and the motivation to succeed. So if you don't believe it, you will not achieve it. The importance of developing beliefs supportive of major life changes is not to be underestimated. The important lesson is to develop a belief in success before you start any quest to make difficult life changes. Otherwise, you're trying to overcome two challenges at the same time. Number one, the challenge to overcome the resistance by negative beliefs. And two, the challenge to create the inputs required to achieve the goal itself. So overcome and reverse any negative beliefs first, and the quest to achieve the goal becomes much easier. Proposition 3. Change without a change in belief will be emotionally uncomfortable. The wrong beliefs will resist change, making change emotionally harder. So not only do you have the emotion of the effort, but also the physical effort to change your life. The right beliefs will support change, making change emotionally easy even though the physical difficulty still remains. With the right beliefs, change comes naturally from following your good intentions. The ideal way to make a fundamental or difficult change to your life is to program supportive beliefs first. Pick a set of positive affirmations, reflecting a belief that the proposed change is right and appropriate for you and that you are capable of creating all the inputs necessary for success. Repeat these affirmations often while visualizing yourself doing what it takes to succeed and then visualize the change complete and yourself enjoying the future you desired. Now my final message, the key to success in life is having the right beliefs. The reason most people don't even try to change their life for the better or fail when they strive to do so, is resistance from their own subconscious beliefs. The subconscious mind is the guardian of the status quo and will resist change. 
Some previously conditioned beliefs demand a continuation of the usual stream of rewards and familiar stimulants. And some negative beliefs presuppose a lack of confidence in your ability to affect change. However, if you remove your dominant negative beliefs, what remains will be sufficient to allow you to live a successful and happy life. If you add some positive supportive beliefs, you greatly improve your chances of success in whatever endeavors you choose to pursue. Now that's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.